What's up guys, Scalic here, and today I'm gonna showcase you guys my like $2,000 Yu-Gi-Oh card binder. So let's check this out. Let's look at this real quick. All right. All right, so right off the bat, I have dedicated a <laughs> basically a whole page to my Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons uh, Starlight Rares. Um, I've got two of these right now. Um, I had to trade for both of them. I was not lucky enough to actually pull them, but I'm still very glad that I have them. Um, and then these four spots are covered for the most relevant alties that I'm willing to trade or sell or do whatever with. We got a Toon Kingdom. We got a Super Poly. We got two Nibby Nibs with their weird freaking, like, look, look at this. They did, they did such a horrible job with the English prints. Look at how off. Look at how off that looks. Terrible. Um, oh, and I did check. My Super Poly does have the lightning bolt. So thank you all who are, who commented on our Packtober opening series. Thank you so much for commenting that because I did look. And it does still have the lightning bolt. It was not a misprint. Um, this, I feel, should have been a misprint but was not. It's way more common than it should be. Um, getting into the next page, we've got my dedicated Blue Eyes page. I've got my original Bungie Blue Eyes down here, the first English print ones. And then we've got our super expensive, these are like $40, $50 in mint condition, uh, Blue Eyes White Dragons. Love the jump promos. And then our Dungeon Dice Blue Eyes. Crazy, crazy. Another like $50 each on those. It's nuts. Um, and then we have a page completely dedicated to all of our high rarity XZs monsters. We've got Utopia right in the center. Beautiful Astral Starlight Utopia. Um, we've got Delteros. Delteros. I need a third Delteros. Amaratsu. Amaratsu. Need a third Amaratsu. Um, Heart Earth Dragon. I love him because I can play him in blue eyes. He's such a good card. Um, oh yeah. Speaking of which... Wait for the Blue Eyes deck profile coming out soon. It's going to be so freaking dope. Um, next, I've got a page to tribute Joey, um, Yugi, my, all, all the friends, um, with some OG-looking uh, Harpy's Feather Duster and some Exodia heads to kind of fill in the space. Um, super nice. I got these like original Bondi cards off of some Japanese seller on eBay. Super, super cool. The set has like 118 cards in it. Very cool, very cool. Um, the only DDS cards I've ever physically seen, the, uh, what, what is this name? The Sai, Sairayu, Sairayu, yeah. Anyway. Um, I got a First Ed Spanish Trihorn Dragon, Unlimited Trihorn Dragon. I got some IOC stuff. Really nice, cool. I like this as a callback page. Um, next, I got a couple more alties. We got some Photon Veils, Card Traders. Um, I really like the Intercept Wave. I think it's really cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's just really cool. Uh, we've got our Zodiac Whip Tails. Um, shout out to Taylor Green. He's getting these off me. Um, he really wanted them, and they're, they're really nice. They're in really good condition. Uh, we got the Memory Cusher and the Life Force Harmonizer. I just think the ulti on this card is really pretty, and its effect isn't too bad either, honestly. It's pretty decent. Um, next, we got all of our ghost rares and some more ultis. Uh, one more Bujink, Bujink Amaterasu that is not ulti. I need a third ulti. Um, we got some Herald. We got the Raw. Um, we got a couple other good synchros. I really like the Scarlight. I think that's really cool. Um, a couple more ultis in a pattern amongst some really cool stuff. We actually have a Japanese uh, collector's rare Raigeki. Um, it, looks, it looks pretty cool. And then we have a couple more. Uh, we have got some Korean Ulti Ghost Ogres because I couldn't afford the real Ulti Ghost Ogres. And then a couple other things. Uh, just some regular like Ulti monsters to kind of help fill in space. They look pretty nice. I really liked the Ultiness around the Wind Up Kitten. I think it's totally legit it's it just it just looks really really cool i really like how wind up kitten looks um next we've got our uh a couple fusion monsters that are ulti dark flare knight is a pretty penny actually in good condition 
Um, got my first Ed El Shadal Chickenagua, and then Invoked Macabre. Gotta have those. Um, some really OG cards. We've got Torrential Tribute, um, Grave Diggers Trap Hole, if I ever want to play it, and a couple other things. We've got a Collector's Rare Pot of No Spells this turn. I can't remember its name. <laughs> Um, and then an alt, uh, Collector's Rare Skill Drain. I really like the Collector's Rares from the Japanese. Um, we got some OG comic hands. We got the Secret Prohibitions. Um, we have the Ultra Chalices. Uh, the Burst Dream Destruction DTs. These are really nice. And then, of course, we got our Core. Our Invocation Core. And then we've got our Dark Magicians. Our Blue Eyes Altis. And I wish we had a third uh, first edition uh, black eye, red eyes black dragon, because that'd be cool. Hit me up, guys, if you got one of these. I just, I really, I, I, I love it. I just love it. This is so cool. And then the last two pages are an entire page of Alti Earthbound Immortals, uh, filled in with a couple of uh, space time polices. Because, you know, if they're immortal, only the space time police can keep them under control. So space-time police are a must of if you have a page of Earthbound Immortals, just, just so you know. Uh, next page kind of tapers off, but we got a couple really cool misprints. We've got a, a ring of magnetism. And then what is going on with this eye of Anubis up here? It's supposed to be down there, but instead it's up here. So value to be determined. And then, of course, we have a structure deck, a Salaman Great structure deck uh, test print card that actually has the Eye of Anubis on it. So that's extra legit. And then I know these guys are a couple of pennies each. Um, chaos spaces, people are always looking for these, so there's always something to trade. And then, yeah, just a couple of odds and ends in the back that I have. So yeah, there, there we go. Um, total cost on this binder right now uh, is about twenty four hundred, um, but prices change all the time. Like these were up to like a hundred dollars each, and then they tanked. And then these are still going pretty strong. So, yeah, it just depends. Um, usually, when I come across stuff, I wait for a little while, uh, see what happens with the price, um, see if I want to pick up more, or sell more. Um, sometimes I will like ride the hype and just try and find these and then sell them real quick, and that works really well. Uh, sometimes it doesn't. It, uh, it's a market thing. It's just a market thing. But I just wanted to share this binder because I'm in quarantine and I haven't had much to do. So I've been organizing my binders and looking at some cool stuff. And if you guys are interested, I actually have a second binder with another... I have another binder. If you guys ever want to look at it, uh, let me know. This one isn't worth as much, but it's still got some cool cards in it. A um, couple deck cores, a couple things like that. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see that, and I might have that in another video. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hit me up if you want to trade. Everything in this binder is up for trade. Uh, 